Hey guys and girls, and welcome back to another Base at Tom's Takeover Thursday. I nearly forgot what day it was, and it said Tuesday there. But we're doing a tier list video again, and we're just going to do this one together because there's a lot of Pokemon. Too many. Too many? Yeah. It's only Generation 1, mate. Is that, is that less or more than the rest of the generations? Ah, oh, jeez. Right, so we're just gonna jump into it. Connor is gonna be the mouse, so he does actually get the final decision. And as you can see, we've got all of the starters here, but we also have we also have the Mega Pokemon uh, in here, just because they're already in the tier list. Thank you to whoever made this tier list. Not entirely sure, it's just on tiermaker.com. We're going to start off with Bulbasaur. We have S, A, B, C, and D rankings. S being like god tier, D being like sucks kind of tier. You like better if he wasn't in Pokemon or she. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So where do we think for, I mean, it's the starters. We've already ranked the starters before, but where are you putting Bulbasaur? Well, you can only compare Bulbasaur to Charmander and Squirtle, right? Because they're the other starters. That they yeah, up but it's also like how you feel about the Pokemon. Like, I really kind of dig some of the starters and don't like any of their middle evolutions at all. But then, meh, about the... I like the yeah. starters. I don't really like the middles. And then I, I'm neither here nor there that much on the final evolutions either. It sounds so, like you just don't like any of them. No, I like the I like the base level starters. Okay, all right. So what, what do you reckon? I'd say Bulbasaur is probably A. I think, yeah. I mean, it's harsh to put him any lower than that. He's still yeah. one of the original trio at the starters. Uh, Iversaur? Oh, C. For me, what would you say? The thing is, he's very forgettable. Yeah. Like, when you start the game, you're Bulbasaur, and then you very quickly become Venusaur. If you remember, we did the video uh, with Randolph, and he tried to name them, and he went Bulbasaur, and then he actually forgot Iversaur. Iversaur. Yeah. <laughs> so that just goes to yeah. prove that he's kind of forgettable. Proof um, is Venusaur? <sighs> Venusaur's kind of cool. I think it's hard not to put him in A. Considering I know hey. we're going to be putting Ooh. Charizard and Blastoise. Ooh, do you? Well, B, do you reckon? Ah, uh, I mean, he's cool. Is he the coolest grass type? Maybe. What, in here? Yeah, in Gen 1. Yeah, probably, actually. He's probably, yeah. I, I think the problem is we're going to be a bit harsh to grass types in general. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we'll put him in B then. Okay, we'll put him in B. Next we have Mega Venusaur. And I just personally think that all Mega Pokemon should go in D because they're not Gen 1. They don't... There we go. That's all I like. Uh, if you wonder how we're doing that, by the way, we have a stream deck now, and I like playing <laughs> with buttons. So if any of these transitions are bad, just ignore them. Uh, Charmander, oh, you're going S tier. Well, I mean, you can't not put him in S tier. Right, it's the, it's the Pokemon most people played the game yeah. with. And most people recognise this evolution line. Like, yeah, even my aunt knows who Charmander Charizard is. I'm not surprised. Exactly. You are a Pokemon nerd. Well, that is true, but yeah. still. Um, Charmeleon? I'd say A at best. Yeah. Also, put him after Bulbasaur. Why? Just because that really... Oh, it stressed me out. There we go. Okay. Let's just put him in the lines. Charizard has to be S tier, just because it's Charizard and everyone loves Charizard. There's not really a debate there, is there? Nope. Like, everyone loves to hate Charizard, but everyone loves him at the same time. Yeah. So, like, uh, you have to put him in S tier. And... Right? We have more me Megas, but they've gone. They've yeah, gone, they're, guys. They're, they're, they're uh, Squirtle. Oh, let's see, Squirtle. Squad, Squirtle, 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 Squad. S. Normal Squirtle, probably A. Personally. Am I like... Is he better than Bulbasaur? Is he worse than Charmander? Squirtle, Squad, Squirtle is better than all of them. But he doesn't have the glasses. But he so. doesn't have the glasses, so... Water or... I uh, would actually say this one's better than Charmeleon. Yeah. And for that... I'm going to go like this. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. Because I think Ivysaur is the worst. Charmeleon's like big. Water Turtle is pretty... He's definitely the best second. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because Charmeleon, like, sucks. Well, he's just... And a... Ivysaur sucks. They both just look bigger than the original forms, right? Whereas Water Turtle looks like there's some design. Like, he's quite yeah. different to Squirtle. And he's, he's got quite cool different to Blastoise. things and the yeah. cool tail. And... Yeah, okay, I get that. Okay, yeah. Blastoise. Oh, I prefer Blastoise to Charizard. Yeah. Mega Blastoise can be in D because he sucks. <laughs> Caterpie. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's difficult with the bug Pokemon because obviously... I love the bug Pokemon. Mm. I mean, they suck <laughs> as I mean, Pokemon. Butterfree is but... wicked. Caterpie, Metapod... Metapod and Kakuna. I mean, what? I mean... 
Okay, Kakuna can use Harden, String Shot. Like, it is a meme. Yeah. So, A tier for Metapod. Or A or B. Like, it's no lower than a B. Because it is, like, meme city. No, let's go in order then. I mean, Cat P <sighs> is basically a bug. Yeah. A caterpillar, I mean, to be more precise. Obviously, these all these designs are quite basic because they're the originals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, like, they're the best. Yeah. What do you reckon? See? I think it's better than Megas. Yeah, but the Megas aren't even counted, right? No, they're not. But I think it's as good as... I'd rather have a Caterpie than an Ivysaur, because at least I get a bloody butterfly at the end. Yeah. So, meh. I mean, you would always get a Caterpie over a Weedle, right? In the games. Uh, weren't they version exclusives? No, that no, no were they? they? No, 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 no. They you could get them, yeah. You they, get them. they were just harder to get in one oh, yeah. or the other. So it was either either easier to get the weed or easier to get the cat bee. I think, or please, you know, tell me I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I had both. So you you might be a filthy hacker. I'm Sorry. not a filthy hacker. I'm absolutely correct. And plus, I do not have the skills to be a filthy hacker. No, that's true. Okay, uh, Metapod. I think Metapod has to be at least B. Oh, no. sorry, my bad. Sorry, my bad. Metapod. Oh, sorry, my bad. It just Got keeps, keeps going there. Got I have poly- We've now decided Metapod is going to go in B. We may have had a fight. A physical fight. Anyway, we're moving on to Butterfree now. Um, child-friendly content now. So what are we going to go? D, C, B, or... I think it's got, it's got to be A. Yeah. Yeah? <gasps> sorry, I'm just having a slight <laughs> breakdown. <laughs> so, <laughs> Weedle. Let's <laughs> see. I think Weedle goes in C as well. Kakuna. Oh, Kakuna's D tier, man. Really? I yeah. like Kakuna more than Metapod. Why do you like Metapod so much? It's funny. Kakuna's not as funny. Okay, you can put in and C if you want. But Beedrill? Oh, wait, is that a Mega Beedrill? Is there a Mega Beedrill? There is a Mega Beedrill. Oh, I don't like it. That's the end of the um, <laughs> Beedrill, however. I don't think it's as good as Butterfree. Nah. Though, I do like the fact it uses Twin Sting and it has like its own unique move. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but it's weak. Beep it's so weak. Yeah. Twin Needle. Right, yeah, I know where these sting. next three are going. Uh, oh, say, Pidgey, A. I mean, really? Right, I know you have control of the mouse, but we don't need another edit. <laughs> 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 really? Oh, Pidgey's like... I'm gonna give all right, I'm gonna give you a B A and S rank for these three. Okay. So you you got A B S. So A. So Pidgeot is B, yeah. Yeah. And you're saying Pidgeot is S. Yeah. I mean Pidgeot is B. Is, is yes. what you tried to say. Yeah. 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 Like Pidgeot is so sick, and then Mega Pidgeot can like do one. <laughs> Even though Pidgeot. no, I do. But he's a Mega Pokemon, so yeah, yeah, yeah. he doesn't count. He doesn't count. At all. Uh, Rattata, youngster Joey has. The top one percent of all raptors, so yeah. I, I, I think because at the end of the day, they're just they're not very well designed. They're a rat. They're a rat. <laughs> I, it's difficult to say though. Like they that's the only way they could have designed them. Yeah. And well, if you've ever played any RPG, one of the first missions you have is like go defeat the rats in the basement. Yeah, exactly. So that so makes sense. Yeah, but I, I don't. I think in comparison to the other Pokemon, yeah, I don't think it'd be fair to put them any higher than D. Uh, Spiro. Largely forgettable in my opinion. I don't like Spiro or Firo. I actually do like Firo. There's uh, Ar- <laughs> Arbok and Ekans. Not that much of a fight over that one. Didn't want to edit anything. Ekans <laughs> is. Ah, oh, do you know what? I think just because of the whole snake backwards thing and the amount of fun we've had with that in the past, it's got to be S tier. Yeah. Arbok, however, is Cobra backwards. It's not as cool. Not as cool. Pikachu, oh, it's S tier, isn't it? Like. <laughs> I like how he just has not noticed where I've put Arbok. No, he's, yeah, he's, he's D tier. Really? I don't think... The only time I like Arbok is in the anime where I they're think messing better, Rocket. He's better than Rattata and Raticate. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm Pikachu okay is S tier, obviously. Pikachu is S tier. Raichu is... I, the, the reason why I don't like Raichu very much is because even in the anime, Pikachu is so desperate not to become a Raichu. Yeah. So no, like, I, I I agree with that. So, like, I kind of feel like... I kind of don't like Raichu because of that. I'm yeah. like, hey, if, if Pikachu wanted to become a Raichu, then he would have. And yeah, but he didn't want Raichu to. is cool, but he's not, so meh. I'd, I'd say Mer is probably the perfect... I'd say he's big. Like, I, yeah. I think he's perfectly okay. Yeah. There's nothing... And, you know, the, that's and what, I always evolve my Pikachus in the games. Yeah, exactly. Because they're more powerful. Yeah, well, you can't well, you can't not, can you? You can. Just press B no, or no, no, not no. make it hold Neverstone or... But what I mean is, like, if you want to win the game better. 
if you want to be better at the game. Sanshu, oh, I love Sanslash, but Sanshu is kind of meh. Sanslash, I think, is pretty cool. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah. Like he, I, I love him, but only because... I used him. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's a good Pokemon. No, but if, if <laughs> any of these Pokemon that are in your team, yeah. then you're going to have an affinity with them. Uh, Nidoran. I mean... Female. For me, they were both largely forgettable. Yeah. Uh, I always got confused between which one was a boy and a girl as well because I really struggled with the colours. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, then the Nidorino and Nidorina, I'm like, eh. Nido King and Nido Queen, though. Yeah. They're sick. Plus, they're the um, final spaces on Pokemon Monopoly. Oh, uh, yeah. Which we care about. To be fair. Passionately care about. <laughs> I really do like these two. Yeah. They're, I think mean, they're really well designed. And uh, I don't think these are bad. Mm. I just think these are so good, they kind of make these not look good. Nido King in the opening cutscene for Pokemon. The... Yeah. I mean, epic. Um, the fairy. Oh. No, I can't, nah. do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. I mean, we've got Ekans in there. <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, but that's only because we're trying to cozy up to Randolph. Yes, because we love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like the Mount Moon stuff, but it's, I mean, it's definitely not a D. I feel like we're going to get a lot of backlash because I feel like we're not putting enough Pokemon in these areas. Oh, we will. We I will. can already see some that I mean, I'm all for. Clefable. I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't think. Vulpix, A tier. Yeah. Vulpix is eight here, and so is Nine Tails. To be fair, yeah. If they've done an evolution chain right, it's that one. It's a it's a banger. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Do you know why it's called Nine Tails? Because he's got nine tails. Because he has eight tails. What? 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 Jigglypuff. 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 I like Jigglypuff. Wigglytuff. I hate though. It scares me. It looks like a Furby. I don't like that. I feel like they were like, we have to make this Pokemon evolve, so yeah. they just fed it a load of pizza. Well, I mean, oh. Jigglypuff is just Kirby, isn't it? It's Pokemon's yeah, Kirby, it's, it's and not. it's not very good. Zubat can do one, man. Golbat's kind of cool, but Zubat can go away. I wanted to swear. <laughs> uh, Oddish is odd-ish. What? No! Oddish is so sick. The whole line is so sick. What are you doing? Okay. First of all, Gloom. Right. <laughs> you can leave the other two there if you really want. But Gloom, that card with the crazy eyes... Oh, yeah, to be fair, the artworks on Gloom are pretty fun. And all the, um, Erica's Oddish? Yeah, yeah. The Oddish cards are cool. Oh, Bloom. Vile Bloom scares me a lot. I kind of like Blossom more. I always... No, not Blossom. Oh, is it Blossom? Yeah, it's Blossom, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I prefer that. I don't really like Vile Bloom. But Oddish and Gloom, I'm kind of like, yo, they're all right. They can be, they can be cool. I like those. Yeah. I, okay, Oddish, I think. I think Vile Plume, maybe oh, not. Why have you put them in the wrong order? Sorry. Ah! There you go. Okay, so Paras... Right, okay. Paras D, yeah. Parasect, though. It's cooler because you know how... Um, you know what the story is of that, right? So, uh, there is a mushroom in the real world, like a, a fungus, that overtakes its host, that grows spores into its host and overtakes its host. And it's like um, like a zombie type thing. Like it okay, fully takes yeah. control. And that's why Parasect has dead eyes because the mushroom has overtaken its body, the, the fungus. Which makes it cooler. Uh, new video, Storytime with Tom, coming yeah. out next week. Uh, Venonat. <laughs> so, Venonat and Venomoth. I really Whilst like Venomoth. This, uh, yeah. I like Venomoth, but doesn't he look like he should be Kakuna's evolution? Yes, and, I can see where you're and going And Venonat that. should turn into Butterfree. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does. Venom, defo. Like if you put if you put those yeah. together, yeah. you can definitely see where purple with the big red eyes. Yeah. Oh, and then easily have been the case. And then Kakuna should go into Venomoth. I mean that that's kind of everyone Kakuna, knows this. Weedle. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Why did they switch that off? Uh, yeah. I really I like know. Venomoth. Yeah, Venomoth's pretty cool. Venomoth's got some actually really thick artwork as well. Yeah. So. What? I mean, I, I think Venomoth also, for some reason, I always feel like it's rarer in the games. I don't know, is that something? I think that might just be you, mate. I think mean, that might just be me. Yeah. D Diglett. I think Diglett's I, a bit of fun. I love Diglett. Yeah, I love yeah, Dugtrio. I, I love all the stupid stuff of, like, the three naked guys under the ground. Yeah. Like, that is actually a Dugtrio. And, yeah, it's just too much fun to, to not allow that. Meowth, that's right. <laughs> I love Meowth. I think Meowth has to go A, actually. Yeah. Because, I mean, he's Team, Team Rocket. Rocket. Team Rocket's mascot. We all love Team Rocket. Jesse. James. Yeah. Meow. To be, to be fair. <gasps> I, oh, well, to be fair, like, next to Pikachu as well. 
Well, it, I would say that's fair. Can I, I just mean, say, don't get me wrong, this, Rocket, this is probably S plus rank. Team Rocket are doing pretty well in the S rank. Yeah. I, They've I got would... Arbok. No, they have Ekans. Mm. They have Meowth. Uh, yeah, but I would say if you know anything about Pokemon and Team Rocket, you know about Meowth. Also, getting Meowth in Pokemon Snap is always a fun memory. Yeah, yep. that's very true. I love Pokemon Snap. Persian, I think, is actually pretty decent. Giovanni's Persian. I think we go there. Yeah. I think that's fair. Psyduck. Again, I think... Yeah, it's really I mean, you have yeah. to... Like, I get... Misty Psyduck is a nutcase. Golduck, however, I'm not... Like, I loved using them in the Pokemon game, but the design, I'm just like... Yeah, I would actually say it's similar, just another humanoid. similar thing to Raichu. Yeah. Like, yeah, if yeah. you could keep side up with all of Golduck's abilities, you would. Yeah. Do you know 100%. what I mean? Like, yeah. So, I, I, I think. I hope that's going to annoy you. Um, so, yeah, maybe like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would agree say, with that. to be fair, those three there are pretty strong. Fine. Meow. Yeah. Bigger. I can't do Pikachu's voice at all. <laughs> it really hurts. Um,. Mankey are, again, I loved in Pokemon Snap, but never really used them in the games. I didn't either, actually. Um, I don't even remember where you find them in the games. Safari Zone? Maybe? Maybe. I, I, it seems like that sort of Pokemon. Mm. The, the fact that I don't know is enough that I don't care. Yeah. Growlithe. I don't, I don't think they're bad Pokemon. Growlithe. Growlithe's a banger. Yep. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you can put it over there. Arcanine. Uh, S. S? R. Oh. Dude, Arcanine is Officer Jenny's dude, man. Right, yeah, yeah. But the only reason why I'm thinking A is because we put nine tails in A. And I would I'm say... I'm sorry, did Officer Jenny ride Arcanine to go fight Mewtwo? I don't think so. No, she, she did. You said Arcanine. Oh, damn, I meant nine tails. Yeah, I know, but you, you didn't. But, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's getting an A tail. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Poliwag. I don't like Poliwag. I love Poliwhirl and Poliwrath, but I don't like Poliwhirl. I think it's kind of the Pokemon that had to be there. Yeah. Because you need the He's other two. He's a tadpole. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... He's a tadpole that doesn't turn into a frog, though. Oh, I do have this I have this weird thing with Poliwhirl that I really like him for some reason. No, I really like Poliwhirl because he like, looks goofy as heck. I don't. I like Poliwrath. I don't like him as much as I like Poliwhirl, but Poliwhirl is, like, sick. Okay, well, in that case, let's put him there. Him there. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, it's the weird little, like... On yeah. top of Poliwhirl, that makes you choke. Because Poliwrath looks like he's real, whereas the other one looks kind of... Uh, Poliwhirl looks like a Neopet. Yeah. <laughs> Which I do, like. Do these come up? No. Um, <laughs> Abra? <laughs> they don't. The email notification. I, I loved Abra because whenever you try and catch him, it just teleport away. You liked that? Yeah, I was hilarious. I remember I nearly threw my Game Boy once out of a moving car because of that. I, that, that doesn't surprise me. I was trying to complete the Pokedex after beating the game. And you still haven't caught Abra by then? No, because I complete the game really fast. I like super hard level, like my starter and like Pidgeot and stuff. And then just beat the Elite Four with like four Pokemon. But um, Abra kept escaping and I got stressed out as like a nine year old. To be fair, just for that story alone, yeah. I would like to say thank you, Abra. Kadabra thank has you. a really, uh, Kadabra and Alexam have a really cool story, don't they, with uh, the Pokemon TCG? Yeah. And is it, it oh, what, which magician was it? Yuri Geller? I can't Yuri Geller was like, oh, that's in my likeness. You can't print any more of those cards. Is that more me. realistic? Uh, I think the evolution chain together yeah. is actually really strong. Like, that is so strong. Yeah. Mega what? Alakazam is D tier, man. To be fair, it's D tier anyway. <laughs> like, <laughs> even if we were doing the Mega, it'd be D tier. That's like our Final Fantasy, but not a good for. Final Fantasy, something like Crisis Court, I hiccups there. That's how angry I was at Mega Alexander's existence. Um, I think with this evolution chain, they get better. So I think Mashup's quite weak. Mashup gets stronger. And Mashamp is the strongest. Is that meant to be a joke? Yeah. <laughs> I found it amusing, and that's all that matters. Um, <laughs> so, like, I would go... I reckon that. that I used to look like Mashup. Then, for a very brief period, I was starting to turn into... Slowpoke. Stir, it's turned into Machoke, and then I turn into Snorlax. Wow, that's impressive. So I'm like Mega Snorlax? Snorlax Gargamax, what is it? Gigantamax. Gargamax. Gigantamax. Gargamax. Gigant, oh, never mind. Uh, Bellsprout, I love the Bellsprout evolution. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, so I, dumb. I think when I was comparing the Vileplume, the I think the rest of them, yeah. the oldish, I was comparing against these, Bells. and I think these are so much better. Bells. I'm going to put big. Bellsprout's sick. 
Weeping Bell's sick. Victory Bell's sick. They're all sick. Uh, no, 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 no. That thing eats Team Rocket on so many occasions. Which one? Victory Bell? Yeah, like, the amount of times Team Rocket gets stuck in that mouth. Show me what that mouth do. Eat Team Rocket. This? Uh, yeah. I love Bellsprout because of Bellsprout Tower. I think well. Bellsprout's hilarious. Like, Bellsprout Tower? Yeah. Generation 2? Going up the towers? Oh, my days. Love it. Uh, Tentacool? Don't like it. Tentacruel? Meh. Don't like it. Geodude? Do like it. I like that. I'm a big fan of Geodude. Graveler? I don't really like. No, I don't think so. Um, Golem's a hard one, actually. I don't know what I feel about Golem. Well, you had to get... You had, didn't you have to trade Graveler to get a Golem? I think so. I think no. it was that and Alakazam, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think those were the tradey Pokemon. I, I never really felt anything for Golem. No, I'm a big fan of Geodude, though. Yeah, Geodude's an Geodude's... absolute boss. He's yeah. a rock with arms. Hilarious. He's basically Dwayne Johnson. Uh, these, I think these two are wicked. Ponyta, sick. Rapidash, even more sick. Especially when you get to ride a Rapidash. You know, when you're riding someone that's on fire. How does that work? But I like it. Rapidash cool. turns off the flames, the bit you're on. You still got a fiery mane. You're still getting fire, like, no, blown no, in your face. No, it all off. What, so it's just a bald horse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's, a horse. It's Gandalf's horse. <laughs> just a horse. Shadow Fax. <laughs> Is it Shadow? <laughs> Slowpoke and Slowbro. I love derpy things. That's why I mean, we're friends. Ex explains a lot. Yeah. Explains so. a lot. Where's um, Slow King? Slow King's <laughs> not in Gen 1? <laughs> Magneton! No, Magnemite is... Yeah, Magneton I think is kind of cooler because it's like... I find it. I find the fact that it's three of them just like yeeted together. Like, and they're magnets. Do the magnets have to evolve at the same time to then become a Magneton? Or does their population increase by three? I like Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is hilarious with his little leak. And he gets a British version. Yeah. In Sword and Shield. I mean, we haven't played it yet, but we will. Um, which is... Oh, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, Dojuo. Stop scrolling. Sorry. Dojuo is funny, to be fair. Not as funny as Dojuo. To be fair, for the original, you know, lot, I actually mm. think these two are quite original. Like, they've not... They've, how do I put it? Like... I feel like there was more design in them. I actually really like Dodrio. Yeah, I like Dodrio because the one of them's like, like, and the one of them's like, yeah, yeah. Quite and the one lot, of them's just like, oh. quite a lot of personality. I yeah. think the ones that are up here have the most personality. That's why we've gone for them. Like the ones that are just like quite, like if you look at the types as well, mm. like look how much more colourful this top tier is in comparison. Just yeah, you know, just you know, a fact. Seal and Dugong. I mean, for me... They suck. Yeah, they're just a bit... Grimer and Muck, though, are the worst designed Pokemon, but so fun. I really like Grimer. Yeah. I think Muck is just like, okay, it's a bigger version of Grimer. I don't really see the point of it, but Grimer is pretty cool. I, I, I think they're both... Like, I think they're the worst designed Pokemon of all time. Yeah. And they're still fun. So that's that's something... Why have you put the Cloister at the top? I love Cloister. Why? I don't know, but I've got like... It's a, I don't know... I absolutely love it. Is it because it taught you how to come out of your shell? No, it didn't. It told me how to go further into my shell and stay there. Forever. And then create defensive guards all the way around it. Where did you put Shelda? Oh, okay, you put Shelda in B. Um, I like Shelda. Shelda's got a... Yeah, I, I think Shelda's yeah. quite fun. I think Cloister's pretty cool as well. No, I, do, I like Cloister. I don't know if it's S tier. No, it's probably there. Yeah. I mean, if we're being really... Yeah, if we're, if we're being honest. But my ranking, I would have put it miss. That's because you're crazy. Yeah. Uh, Ghastly, I love the design of these three Pokemon. Um, I'd probably... Yeah. No, I'd agree. Yeah. Yeah. Gengar's there, sir, right? I, 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 I think if we're putting Ge Ghastly in A, I think Haunter also deserves to go in A. I, I think Haunter's as cool as Ghastly because it's just... Oh, I just like the design. I really like the design of Haunter. Like, he's, he's even better than Ghastly. I think I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm not really sure, because, like, the fossil uh, TCG, this is, like, the worst hollow. Yeah, but think about the games, man. Like, imagine, yeah, you're in the tower. Do, 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 
And then a ghastly pops up and you're like, oh, it's another ghastly. Then all of a sudden, boom, horns out. You're like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Onyx, big old rock snake. <laughs> Love the rock snake. Drowsy and Hypno are... Oh, wait, b before we get into that, Gengar. Oh, hello. Do you think that's just the ghost of uh, Clefable? Well, it is, isn't it? I think so. That's what like the, the conspiracy is, but I'm asking what you think. Well, I, I always thought it was, yeah. Do you? Yeah. What do you think? That, that's what I think. I think it is. Uh, so we've got Drowsy and Hypno, the, the ones that lure kids away from their parents to I eat mean, their dreams. for me, no. Yeah, I don't like Drowsy. Dr but wait a second. Oh, all right. Drowsy what? is an anteater. Yeah. That used to be all your right. thing. All right, well... You used to be an anteater. Oh, and you know what? I just hated getting drowsy. When you know when it would come up as a yeah. wild boat, I was like, ugh, why, why? Why do you suck? Yeah, well, But Hypno is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Hypno is cool, I would say. Yeah, Hypno's stop a bit. scrolling. Sorry. Oh, I'll beat you. Krabby or Kingler? Krabby is there. Kingler is sick. Really? Yeah, I love Kingler. Like, I, I think I actually completed the Elite Four with Kingler. I love Kingler because it's like it's just a massive crab. Like, grabs you. Grabs you. Grabs you. I'm really glad that wasn't in full screen. Uh, Voltor. <laughs> <laughs> I think fun. I mean, it's basically a Pokeball with eyes. A Pokeball? A, a Pokeball. Yeah. Po uh, oh, mate. The first time. And I mean, literally, the first time I ever played Pokemon. Mm. And I was going through, just playing the game, picking up items. And then one day, pick up a Pokeball. And it's a flipping Pokemon. <laughs> I, like, Blow your mind. I was partly my mind got blown, but yeah. I was also stressed. I was, I had like my entire team was dead. I had like three HP, and I caught it. I caught. <laughs> I was like, I can't fight it. Good job it wasn't an electrode. Yeah, would have self destructed, and that would have been it. But I literally, I was like, throw an ultra ball, hope for the best. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I just remember that feeling of what is going on. <laughs> like, and I was a young boy. I know that's so stupid because I you, think you kind of expect me, it now, but... I think with Voltorb, they could have gone down a similar route with um, Magneton, Magnemite. What, and just added more Pokeballs? Yeah, yeah. Like, execute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I like Electrode more, though, because Electrode's like... <laughs> he's got that green light. <laughs> oh. oh, what have you done with execute? Why do you, like, pull him around the screen? Because I don't want to scroll. You think execute's A tier? Yeah. I think your mind's been, um... I really like Scrambled. Eggs. I really like eggs. <laughs> Why do I ever agree to do these videos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cubone. Yeah, man. I, I don't actually know if we're going to have enough space to, uh, to, to complete this. What happens to the stream when we do scroll down? It's not a stream. Um, well, it's just going to be off the screen. So. Do, it, do it again? So, That's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just go through it at the end. There's so many I Pokemon thought the whole thing was going to flip or something the way you were going on about it. It just well, scrolls down. Where did you book Cubone? Um, a tier. tier. Yeah, to be fair, it, his mum died. He deserves the sympathy. Uh, Marowak. This isn't a sympathetic vote. I'm putting him there because he's sick. Oh, okay. I mean, he's wearing his mum's skull. Exactly. He's mentally ill. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. <laughs> I don't know if we can have that in the video. But it's staying in the video. So, Marowak. Uh, is Marowak the mother of Cubone? I don't know. Because does that mean every time you make a Cubone, you have to kill a Marowak? Because they all wear their mother's skulls. But then their skull becomes. Also, their population can't change. What happens if someone accidentally kills a Cubone? I really don't like thinking... No, I know, but... Like, Maybe a Marak has to have another kid? Maybe. But the Marak already has to have died. Oh. I don't know. I'm so stressed out by this question. <laughs> All right, I, I think B. <laughs> yeah. Cubone's cool. B. Yeah. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. Oh, just as someone who likes a good fight, I like these. Why did you put the girl other than the boy, Connor? Oh, it wasn't nothing to do with that. I just like Hitmonlee over Hitmonchan. What are they named after? Uh, my dad and Jackie Chan. No, obviously, Jackie Chan and uh, I thought you were, Bruce Lee. I thought you were doing, my dad's Bruce Lee. No, no, no. My no. dad's actually called Lee. 
Might have time to actually watch this video, considering this. <laughs> <laughs> like, nothing's going on. Considering we're in a state of lockdown, <laughs> guys and girls. Hopefully you're enjoying the uh, lame and saying what we're bringing your way. There's uh, plenty of other YouTube channels. <gasps> Next up we have Lickitung. Yeah! Lickitung. I thought you were about to put him in detail. Yeah, ate it all the way. That Pokemon is weird. No, I don't I like how weird he is. Coughing, wheezing, yeah. I do like wheezing. Whee I just think coughing's just a bit irrelevant. Right on. I actually really like these Pokemon right on or right on. Like, I would probably go here. Do you know what I like to do in Let's Go? What? I like to ride on, ride on. Because you can, like, ride on some of the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact you can ride on, a ride, ride on, on, is, like, the sickest thing. Blew your mind. Yeah. Chansey, don't care. That's not Like, I know... I mean, what? It's not Chansey. Are you okay? What is that Pokemon's name? Playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my head. <laughs> I know that he sometimes gets those Pokemon mixed up, so I thought I'd try it, and I did, and it worked. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nurse yeah. Joy has a chance <laughs> My brain just got melted in 16 different languages. Chansey is sick. Yeah, I really like Like, Chansey. I don't... What, you want here? No, no, no. I'd like, as in, I don't care about Chansey as a Pokemon. Yeah. I care about Chansey as in Nurse Joy's Chansey. Yeah, but this isn't Nurse Joy's Chansey. This is just yeah, is. a Chansey. No, no, it is. It's it's not. Next Pokemon. It says Chansey. Chansey. Wait, Tangler. Does it say? Does it say? Tangler. Doesn't Tangler evolve into something? Tangrowth, yeah. Not Gen 1. Um, no, I know that. I just I didn't know if it evolved into a, anything else. Yeah. It big, goes Tangler, Tangrowth. Okay. Yeah, it's got big mama boots. Yeah. When yeah, it's Tangrowth. Yeah, 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 okay. It's like, yo, look at my wellies. Uh, Tangrowth is like, I don't, get, I don't care. Mm. I mean, Tangler. Sorry. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Kangaskhan, absolute legend. Tank... Tep the, yep. Horsey! Meh. Yeah, Kingdra is like a banger, but yeah. Cedra is like... Yeah, it's a bit... It, I mean, it already looks like a second... Like, you already know it's going to carry on. Yeah. Like, but eat bug just by the design of Cedra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golding, I mean, Golding. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, nah, Golding's higher than D. Yeah. Like, he's not the worst. I don't like. I uh, can't even remember the Cedra. No. What is the name? Goldine and. Sea King. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. <laughs> That's how I forget. Uh, Star, where do you put Starmie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Starmie. Yeah. No, I, I think Starmie's a brilliant. I like the idea that his attack is just yeeting himself yeah, like yeah. a shuriken at someone. Yeah. He's like, I don't know what to do, spin. Swift. <laughs> and throws stars at people. Yeah. No, I, I definitely say actually. Also, got a ruby. Yeah. Inside him. Like, yeah. That's pretty sick. I mean, that's worth a bit. Would you say it's a graded gem? I would. I'd probably Mr. Not. Mime is like A tier. Nah, 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 nah. Let me, let me re remind you of something, mate. Detective Pikachu film. Yeah, go yeah. on then. The, 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 the chase scene. <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just stayed there. Sci-fi, yeah, S tier, man. You agree? Yeah, I agree. You like Sizzle more. Yes, if Sizzle I was don't. on this, I'd I don't. Plus. I Why? think Scyther's so sick. There's not a bad Pokemon card with Sizzle on. No, 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 but like, Scyther, Pokemon Snap, banger. That's all I need, really. Jinx is... I hate Jinx. I hate Jinx. Like, Jinx is scary. <laughs> if you met Jinx in real life, you'd literally I'll, just run away. Yeah, we're like, nah. Bye. Um, Electabuzz. And Mag, I actually really oh, like. I like both these Pokemon. These. Three. I don't like Pinsir. I'd I'd, right, this is where I I'm, like Pinsir, but only in the Neo card where he's fighting Heracross. That's. I mean, if we were gonna rank these together, I don't. Think, I don't think any of them are good enough to be S. I, th I think Magmar S. and Electabuzz can both deserve A. To be fair. You think? Yeah, because like, if you didn't choose Charmander, you uh, strolling through the games, you find a Magmar, you're like. He's my fire boy. 100%. I like, I like Mamma. Okay. All right, I think I deserve to be in the same. He's the top of B. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that how that works? Like, he's, he's like near Electabuzz. Like, he can nearly touch him, but he's not. Yeah, but like, Electabuzz is the bottom of A, and Magma's the top of B. I think, no, I, I mean, if fine. we're going to do that, then we're going to have to rearrange all No, words. no, but just for those two. <laughs> like, like, he's just about an A. Yeah. And Magma's like, oh, it's so close. He can, like, taste Electabuzz's sweat. Yeah, Tauros Farm. Oh, the um, episode where Ash catches like a million Tauros. Yeah, and you can have Tauros burgers. 
I don't like that. That's what they did? Yeah, I don't like that. But, like, it's where Professor Oak has, like, he's like, Ash, we got your Pokemon. Roar! And there's, like, a million Tauros. <laughs> Maybe we should do, like, a tier list of what Pokemon would taste the best. <laughs> Neither of us eat meat. I know, yeah, that's why it'd be funny. Oddish. <laughs> Farfetched sleek. I don't know. We wouldn't be very good at it. Probably what started off this problem in the first place. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> Tauros is going to be. Yeah. Magic Arps S. Yeah. Gyarados is S. But Mega Gyarados can you to back into that D tier. Like, there ain't no tomorrow. All right, these probably the strongest evolution line outside of the starters. Magikarp is the sexiest Pokemon I've ever seen. Yes. And I'm going to try and insert that photo into the video now <laughs> because that makes no sense without me saying it. I once met a sexy Magikarp. <laughs> Lapras is... Oh, Lapras is S tier. Was it only on Saturdays you could catch a Lapras? I don't know, you know. I don't, I don't know if he's up there. I think he's here. No. I think they're here. Like, nine tails in there. Arcanine's in there. Like, we've got really strong Pokemon in A. Alakazam. Like, the, to get in here, the S tier E, it's difficult. Mate, you have to be. Mate, you up can only there. catch a Lapras once a week. Yeah. And, bro, you can sail across the ocean on it. I know, but... You can sail right, across right, the right, ocean. Right, all right, all right. Also, he's not four times right. a week to lightning like Gyarados no, is. No, that's fair. All right, Gyarados or Lapras? Lapras. Okay. Oh, you're going to say you beat me. I have to keep Gyarados in this rank. <laughs> right, okay. Ditto. Ditto, ditto, ditto is sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Ditto is an absolute legend. Every Pikachu... No, Pokemon card... Where it's like the Ditto versions of the Pokemon, like Ditto Charmander, yeah. Ditto Bobsaw, Scott, or Pikachu, all that stuff. <laughs> like, it's so weird. And then obviously you have Ditto from Detective Pikachu, which is horrific, but mm. so sick. Eevee, I mean, it's a mascot. It's an evolution. Like, <laughs> I would actually probably say nowadays more people get involved in Pokemon because of Eevee than any other. And the evolution chain. I, like, I would say, like, like when we were kids, it was all about Charizard and Pikachu. Nowadays, because, like, evolutions, they've just carried on. Yeah. Like, through every single generation. And I would say people are more inclined to join the hobby because of Eevee than any of the Pokemon. Oh, and the I'd, line. No, I'd still say Pikachu. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Pikachu's like the OG, man. You're never going to beat Pikachu. They try. I, I think Pikachu's there, but I, I, think, I think, how do I put this? Eevee's on the highest growth rate. Yeah, but it's still not Pikachu. And never will be. Pikachu is like the mascot of all of Japan. So, I mean... Yeah, you got to keep Pikachu and Meowth together. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> they're, they're friends. <laughs> okay, okay. But I, okay. Well, what the what I get from Instagram and stuff like that is massive evolution collectors. It's because you're a nerd. Yeah, well, like... I anyway, next Pokemon, Vaporeon, banger. Probably the best out of the three for me. Right, so you've got an S, A, and B. Oh, Jolteon's B. Poor oh, harsh, but okay. But, oh, Flareon. Flareon has some of the nicest artworks, but I prefer Vaporeon. I'm actually, it's quite interesting how many water types we've got up here. Yeah, more than any other Pokemon uh, uh, type. Type, yeah. Okay, Porygon. Oh, it's kind of sick, but it's not nothing special. I think Porygon gets better. Porygon 2, Porygon yeah. Z, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I agree. I'm not, and I'm a star, I hate. Yeah, I don't hate them both. They're really so them. ugly. I don't really see the point. Uh, Kabutops, I love Kabutops, I don't really care about. Kabuto. Because you went Kabutops, I love Kabutops. Sorry, yeah, Kabuto, really Kabuto I love. Kabuto, I love. Kabuto, you love? Yeah, I think he's you like. You prefer that over Kabutops? Yeah. Really? I think Kabutops is like, you know, like the Honda Civic Type R when yeah. they just tried a little bit too hard? Okay. Whereas Kabuto, I kind of like. I like in, uh, it's not Gen 1, uh, you know, in the second games, like Gold, Silver, Crystal, second gen. You know where you're doing the little puzzles to get the unknowns? And, yeah. And they all look like Kabuto. I like that. That's okay, cool. okay. Aerodactyl's pretty sick. I mean, it's just a flying dinosaur, I know. Like... <laughs> yeah, to be fair. I love dinosaurs. I hate Mega uh, Aerodactyl, from what I've seen. Snorlax, A tier. <laughs> I like the legendary birds as well. <laughs> Last time I'm agreeing to do one of these. <laughs> hey, we both turned into Snorlax. Well, that's true. I'm just a bigger version. <laughs> You're just a gun at Max. Mega Snorlax! <laughs> Snorlax level X! <laughs> uh, try not to get collected. Yeah, I'll try not to. Right, okay. I'll t right, okay. Let's, let's go with the same sort of theme on this. Oh, we're going SAB on this? Yes. Okay. I mean, I know what I would do. I'd go... 
Art you know, Malta is Zapdos, I think. Yeah, which is interesting because we did that exactly the same with uh, <gasps> Vaporeon, we did. Flareon, and uh, Jolteon. Do you know what I think it is? The only thing that I care about Zapdos, or like the only thing that I, I find memorable, I know he's in the Power Station, but like I don't care, is the uh, Fossil Arts. The, the packs, the fossil artwork packs. Yeah. That's the only thing that, that bothers me about it. Okay. I don't really care about any of the other stuff. Dratini. Uh, right, and now Dragon this is going to be Dragon difficult. Oh, they're bangers. S, A, and B. S is Dragonite. You think? With his, oh my God, the like 250 million foot tall okay, yeah, Dragonite right. that looms through the shadows and the lighthouse. Oh, yeah. A lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, Dragonite, I, 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 but to be fair, I'd probably put all of them in S if it was me. Oh, oh, is Mew 2 an S rank? Yeah. Oh, see, Mew, love S rank all day, emotionally, physically, whatever. Mew 2, oh, I'd kind of say A. Eh? Would you? Mm, like, hi, A. Eh? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. But, oh, I, I don't think you have Mew without Mew 2. Yeah, you can. No, no, I, I just don't think you do. I don't think Mew is a relevant Pokemon without Mew 2. Why? Because, like, he's got no adversary, he's got no nemesis. Whereas with Mewtwo, he does. And to be fair, Mewtwo, in Set's Pikachu, wicked. Yeah, um, to be fair. Mewtwo artworks are great. I, I like how he's, like, the enemy of everything. Like, I like how he's yeah. the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a Mewtwo, Mew, sorry, sometimes just comes across as a bit too goody two shoes. Whereas Mewtwo, like, I like. I don't know if he's goody two shoes, he's just a bit thick. He's yeah. Like, Whee! <laughs> yeah! Mew. <laughs> Whereas Mewtwo, like, I, I, I kind of. I feel like he's got more personality problems and he's got he's trying to work through stuff. I think he's struggling. Yeah, exactly. And I like that. Like, he's got more to his personality. I do like how hyper-powerful he is. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Cool. I'll allow it. Now. Right, so we're going to go through and quickly just mention all of the Pokemon that we got into tears so we can recount it. Charmander, Charizard, Blastoise, Pidgeot, Enkins, EV, Pikachu, Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, Ekans. Ekans, Meowth, Psyduck, Gen no, I'm joking, right. Okay, right. Yeah, so at S tier Pokemon, we've got Charmander and Charizard. Yeah. Absolute bangers. Uh, Blastoise, Pidgeot, Ekans. Is there any of these? What would you say? Okay, this might be more yeah. interesting. What are the three? If you had to take three out of S, which would they be? Ekans. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Because, because realistically, we put that in there for <laughs> Randolph. Um, out of those ones... Scyther and Psyduck. No, Scyther and Vaporeon. There you go. So those three are your weakest. Right, and A... Actually, no. Keep Scyther. Get rid of Articuno. Get rid of Articuno? Yeah. Articuno? Yeah. I, why? No, he, oh, he's, just, he's just not as cool a legendary as the other two. The other two what? Mewtwo and Mew. Oh, all right. Okay, right. Got you. Um, okay, so those are your weakest three. Yeah, what would you two? If I, you had to take three out of her. Ekans. <laughs> Lapras, probably. <gasps> Ekans. Ekans. And I'd probably keep Articuno in there and get rid of. Oh, really? Okay, so... I really like Cypher, but I think Articuno is so strong as, like, an everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, to replace those three, which ones would you take from here and put in here? Uh, Arcanine. Yeah. Um, Snorlax. And... I'm trying to think. Onyx, to be fair. Onyx is... Or, or Ninetales. Like, those kind of Pokemon that you you always remember. Yeah. So, meh. That, no, I'd that's say that's, that's pretty strong. Yeah. To be fair, I think those three versus those three, I'd probably put those three in there. Yeah. Um, besides Lapras. I We've love not Lapras. done a very good job here, have we? No, I think... I think <sighs> it's because we have to do it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, B tier, I'd move Magmar up. Uh, I'd probably move Zapdos up. And I would probably move Bellsprout. <laughs> what? I love what? Bellsprout, man. Really? He's so weird. He's like, oh. I can't even see Bellsprout, Ooh. this one. This little guy. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. I, I, can get, I, I get love that. Bellsprout. But then you look at these Pokemon, and you go, I don't know if these ones are as strong as these. Oh, I mean, Magma is. A tier is pretty strong, to be fair. Yeah, to be fair. In there. That's a great. Really I'd probably good, good move Pokemon. Ghastly out of it and replace it with Magmore if it was me. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, then B tier. Well, no, we already did B tier, right? 
No, yeah, B tier, we've moved some up. Yeah. I mean, okay, let's let's go down to D and C. If there was any in D and C that you'd have to move to A. To A? Yeah, you'd have to go whoop up. E- excluding one? the Megas? Yeah, no Megas. Um, Pretend they're not there. La, 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 la. Or are we pretty much agreed? <sighs> I would say we're pretty much agreed, because I can't see any hard move up. I might move Hitmonchan. Big, big move. Yeah. Big move. But like, it'd be like the lowest A. <laughs> yeah. In yeah. There. Be, he's more of a high To be D. fair, I'd say it's a bit. Yeah. yeah. To be fair. But I, th- I think... I, I, mean, I think we've done quite well there. Oh, yeah. I think we've done quite well. I, I mean, that's okay. I mean, I can't see that much I would change personally. No, not gonna. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that up as a little end screen so you guys can see that... Uh, and tell us how wrong we are, because we, we like how, you know, you always tell us how wrong we are. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's totally fair enough. I mean, I, if if I'm wrong, guys, I, I'm sorry. I apologise on behalf of me, my family. Sorry, Tom's really struggling with his self-isolation. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it, it's been a fun one. Yes. I've enjoyed it. Yes. And also, by the way, we, we live together, so there's no need for two metres apart. That's just how we spend the rest of our day. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. (laughs) Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.